Oh, good morning, we are at Mexico City uh, due at uh, Magna Expo Mabular Show with uh, Mr. Christian Pfeiffer, he's a global director for Hanover Fairs. Uh, how are you, Christian? Very good, thank you very much. Uh, tell me, this is the second time Deutsche Messe is exclusively organizing this show. What special attraction we can expect? Well, we changed the marketplace a lot um, because we wanted to have an exclusive marketplace for the industry and for the woodworking um, in old Mexico. So we started a cooperation with Ampim first time this year. So we have not only machinery and woodworking equipment, we also have materials, accessories and fabrics. So right now, Magna Expo Meblera in its 25th edition is a one-stop shop for the complete woodworking industry in Mexico. Well, as this time in, term, in, in time of inauguration, I entered the hall, the layout is totally changed. It looks really professional. I can totally understand it is like the, it, it, like the input from your company, Deutsche Messe, as I, as I saw two years before. Thank you very do much. You, yeah, do you, do you think that helps in terms of more exhibitors coming in the, to the show joining this year? Indeed, now we are the number one marketplace in Mexico. Um, we put in a lot of effort uh, with our exhibitors, with our associations, and um, we have a German uh, joint pavilion organized by BDMA and Deutsche Messe. We have a Brazilian pavilion and a Chinese pavilion, so it's a very, very complete marketplace. We have more than 230 brands represented here in Mexico, so it's a one-stop shop, and this is what everyone was looking for. So uh, we are very happy that we could actually put it on the plate, and now visitors uh, are very keen to uh, see what's going on in woodworking and be inspired. Right. Right. As as you mentioned about visitors, but still I see in this show is most of the visitors are local from Mexico. So, do, in terms of visitors, do you really want to promote these shows to the international visitors? You, we welcome, of course, you will welcome visitors from all over the world, but I believe this is a regional show. So, which are the main markets you are targeting for the visitors? Well, so far, after uh, yeah, the first round of people walking in yesterday, we experienced a very positive feedback, not only uh, from the numbers, because we had a little increase on that, but also content-wise, people really like what we see and there's still potential in Mexico. What we are trying to, um, to uh, realize from the Mexican furniture industry and workshop owners. So um, as Mexico City is very easy to access from all South America and North America, we always open to uh, visitors from abroad. But we're going step by step. Right now, we are really working hard and organized um, for the Mexican audience and uh, yeah, increase it step by step but i can i can say like in terms of exhibitors i see all the big players are here from germany italy even from austria that's a really a very positive sign well uh, uh christian i will come back to the biggest woodworking show ligna as recently you organized a conference in china I believe it was a totally a complete success. Can you can you tell me more about German Chinese Industry 4.0 project, the industry cooperation, and also I'd like to add one question. After this conference, do you see? Do you think this time more Chinese exhibitors I, we will see in Ligna? Well, thank you. Uh, we have actually experienced a very very well accepted uh, Ligna conference in China. It was uh, great in terms of uh, visitors. We had great. Um, great audience. We had a great, uh, uh, yeah, great content. Um, so it was a very good mix of uh, having local speeches, having international speeches, and discussions. So there was a lot of representative uh, knowledge brought into the Chinese market, but also um, backwise, uh, the Chinese people who presented their innovations, their steps into the uh, industry 4.0 uh, and Internet of Things um, had great feedback to the German exhibitors, to the Italian exhibitors and everyone who was present. So it was a great step for Ligna to have such a format in the Chinese market to increase the Chinese visitorship for Ligna. 
But as you ask in your second part, we also have uh, right now already a very positive feedback from Chinese exhibitors coming to Ligna in May. So I think we will experience quite an increase on numbers of exhibitors coming from China. That's nice. Uh, well, uh, Ligna preview is scheduled like in less than a month. So in on 5th February for to be precise. What are the special, what are the areas you are focusing this year for Ligna Preview? Well, Ligna Preview is always about talking to the media, especially preparing the media for Ligna and the innovations coming from the exhibitors. So we have uh, about 30 companies showing their innovations, prepare the international media of what's going to be shown in real life at Ligna. And uh, we have a great keynote speech from a person from Germany. He is a very flexible, woodworker and he will actually show what kind of um, network production can be used for many many different applications and he shows what it really means to have a customized solution and uh, this is something what also drives us with our focus topic that uh, we are going into integrated manufacturing customized solutions and he will referred to that in his speech, so I'm very excited about that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, welcome the world media in woodworking in Hanover in uh, February 5th. Thank you so much. I uh, hope to see you soon in Hanover for during the Ligna preview. Thank you, Christian, for your time. Thank you, team. Likewise.